All right, so you move to Mars, and as a memento of your time on Earth, you bring your barometer, and you take it to Mars, you put it outside in the Martian atmosphere, and the question is, does it give an accurate pressure reading of the Martian atmosphere? There's really nothing to calculate here. It's just about how a barometer works, which we talked about. We think, how did I draw a barometer? Um, I forgot. Oh, I forgot how I drew it, but you could draw it like this. Um, you put some liquid in here, and you put invert a tube like this, and uh, the liquid in here, the fluid in there, and what happens is the atmospheric pressure will push down on the barometer, and the fluid will go up. Now it may not go all the way up, and that's why you end up with vacuum in here. So the pressure equals zero in the space above the fluid um, in the column. And the reason that can happen is that you think, oh, nature abhors a vacuum, right? So it's not going to let that happen. It's going to push up and fill that space, but it can't because of the weight of the fluid. Eventually, the weight of the fluid wins out, um, and uh, you will get uh, a vacuum there. And mathematically, you can treat a barometer by saying, okay, this atmospheric pressure must be big enough to lift that column. So it's a simple case. You can apply the hydrostatic pressure rule. You can say atmospheric pressure there equals pressure at the top, zero, plus rho GH of that column. So it's a way to measure atmospheric pressure. And it's also interesting compared to the other instruments we discussed because it measures absolute pressure. It doesn't measure gauge pressure relative to the atmosphere. It just measures the absolute pressure being applied to the top of the liquid here and here. So you'd have some little markings that would tell you for different heights of this column uh, of liquid, what's the absolute pressure? Okay, so there's your quick reminder of how our barometer works. Question is, if you take it from Earth to Mars, does it give an accurate reading? So this is sort of a true-false or short answer, and your, a knee-jerk reaction would be yes, because it doesn't care about the atmospheric pressure. It just is an absolute pressure measurement, and therefore, you know, on Earth it might be way up here, and on Mars it's going to come way down. So you might say yes, but then let's read it again. Does it give an accurate pressure reading? It actually wouldn't be accurate because the scale that tells you the actual value of the pressure was calibrated on the Earth, and it's based on the weight of this column. So it's based on G. Right? So the thing, the physics that goes in there is rho G H. And that G would be for Earth, 9.8 meters per second squared. If you take it to Mars, that G is lower, so the scale is different, so no. It does not give an accurate pressure reading on Mars. It would be lower. It would probably, the column wouldn't come aside because the atmospheric pressure is so low on Mars, but you wouldn't be able to use the scale.